Welcome back to Let's Play Dragon's Curse for the TurboGrafx-16, aka Wonder Boy 3 The Dragon's Trap. And now that we have Tiger Man, we have quite a few things that we need to do now. Um, the first thing we need to do is actually we have to go to the transformation pad here. And we have to switch to Mouse Man real quick, because the first thing we want to do is get the Magical Saber. Um, it's not really necessary necessary that we do this now, but I just want to get it out of the way. So... Now, you, you probably were wondering before why um, there was Mouse Man sticky paper here. <laughs> I guess that's what you would want to call it, sticky paper. Uh, <laughs> that's because you want to be able to get down here. There's actually a section down here that you have to handle. Alright. First things first, we're going to go down here and then stick to the top of the ceiling and then drop down here. Alright, now that we're down here, we're going to stick to the wall here. And just keep going crazy with breaking all these blocks, but I wish they dropped stuff, but some these blocks don't really drop much. And then you want to stick... Make sure you don't fall down here, by the way, or you'll have to do this all over again. Alright, now here we get the Magical Saber. Now what the Magical Saber does, it's useless as a weapon, for one thing. What it does is it... It creates blocks where these um, these star blocks are. Oops, I must have hit the turbo by accident. So you can do stuff like that. Now, in some cases, if you break the blocks, something comes out of them. Um, but I don't think that's the case in this room. I think that's only for before the last stage, and we're not going to worry about that right now. Alright, so now that we got the Magical Saber, first of all, you want to... This this thing only works if you equip it, by the way. It's not like the Thunder Saber where, um, where it's just equipped all the time. Alright, so we're going to switch back to Tiger Man. Okay, now what we're gonna do with Tiger Man is we're gonna head up back. We're gonna head back to the desert real quick. And we're gonna head back to the Desert Sphinx. Um, as I told you before, we'd be going back there where I'll show you the reason why. Okay, now that we made it back to the Sphinx here. I'm going to show you what the secret of this thing is all about. There's nothing in this anymore, but look, you could break the blocks in this room, and this is the only one that you can do that in. You want to just fall down here, and you have eight treasure chests. Now, you can only open one at a time, so keep that in mind. Every time you get one, when you come back to get the next one, you have to jump over the one you already got. So you have to keep track of the of which ones you went through, and I just go in order from left to right so that um, I can remember what the count is. Now you can get a bunch of money in here, you get a bunch of magic items, and you get a potion at the end and charisma stones as well. All right, so now we're gonna go back in here. Now, we already got the first one, so we're going to head up to the second one. Alright. It kind of sucks that you have to go out and back in all the time. I don't know why they did it that way. It doesn't really make much sense to me. But, whatever. Now we got some magic fireballs. And, by the way, when you exit out, I mean, it really doesn't matter, because that guy doesn't hurt you as much as he did at the beginning of the game, but... When you exit out of this door, or exit out of the door, um, 
All you have to do at any time... That was the third one, right? When you're done with a treasure chest, all you have to do is press up and a door will appear. But I recommend always facing the left before you press up here. Um, so that you can block that, that uh, arrow that he shoots. So, Charisma Stone's here. And a potion. And you got some gold and you got some items. Let's look. We have... I think they give you about ten of each. Um, the rest of the stuff I got was from um, my trip on the way here. I got twenty Charisma Stones. Which is pretty good. The reason we came out here is we needed that gold for the next purchase we are going to make here. Yeah, I can take that little sliver of health. Um, the reason I'm not skipping this trip back is because I'm going to show you a couple other things that we can do in this area. Alright, now, here you just want to fall down here without getting hit, of course. Tiger Man can kill those things. Um, but don't go back up or that'll happen. Go ahead and kill these fish things. And head to the left. Alright, now we have another secret area that'll give us some more money. Some fireballs for some random reason. Chris, one charisma stone and a potion. The main thing I wanted here was the medicine. I'm sorry, I should call it medicine. It's not potion because it's called medicine in the game, so I should call it medicine. Whatever. And it's best to just stay underwater and go all the way to the right as far as you can. That way you don't have to deal with the crabs and the sunflowers and all that stuff. The fish aren't really that much of a pain to deal with. They're, they take one hit, they don't shoot anything at you. And they give you money too, so that's a good thing. You want to get as much gold as possible on the way back. And you'll see why, because we got to buy uh, Tiger Man's um, armor and stuff. Yeah, don't go up those. Just keep going. Keep going to the uh, right. Now, we can't go any further right, so let's go ahead and uh, jump up here. And when you jump up, make sure you go. You hold the right button down on your d-pad um, so you don't end up falling back down I'm gonna keep on collecting more gold here Now, what we're going to do is we are going to switch back to Mouse Man. Okay, now that we're Mouse Man, I'm going to go over here and pick up these uh, items finally from this armor shop. The 
Prince armor is what you want to pick up first, and we don't have enough for the night shield, so that's a problem. Um, and I thought I would have had enough, but oh well. What we're going to do in this case, um, I'm not 100% sure, but I think when you save the game and come back, you lose all of your magic, but I think you get compensated in gold for all of your magic items that you obtained along with your potions so I, I mean you can go the legit route and go back up to the desert or wherever you want to go and farm for gold um, but I'm gonna take the cheap way on this I'm gonna go ahead and save it um, I showed you the Sphinx area where you can get um, all of the power-ups and or all of the magic items and extra money and everything. I am actually going to head back there um, and pick up two potions because those two potions we grabbed before, we, we kind of need them for the next dungeon because the next dungeon is just really hard. Even if you have the upgraded equipment, the next dungeon is really bad. So I'm going to go ahead and switch to Tiger Man because we're going to need Tiger Man anyway. Alright, now that we're Tiger Man, I'm going to head up to the desert and grab those two potions. And, uh, once I'm done with that, I'll, I'll come back and, uh, we'll head to Tiger Man's dungeon. Alright, now that I got those potions, um, I'm going to switch back to Mouse Man real quick. Because, uh, I forgot we need to get the Night Shield still. We want to make sure we have the most optimal armor and weapons before this next dungeon because this next dungeon has some enemies in there that are just ridiculous. Night shield, okay. Now I'm going to equip the night shield. Oh, you know what? I just thought of something. You probably don't even need the night shield to be honest, but it's just good to have it. I'm just buying it for completion. To be complete with the game. You want to still keep using the Master Shield now that I remember. Let's look at our equipment real quick. We have the Prince Armor. That is the biggest in defense points. Knight Shield is not. See how Master Shield is 191 and Knight Shield is only 156? We want to stay with the highest defense points. Our Charisma points are up where we need them. So we're good there. Now, the next area we need to go down here again but we're going to break this floor here if I can <laughs> all right go ahead and break this floor and get our sixth heart container so now we have six hearts and boy are we gonna need them Now we're going to buy the Muramasa Blade. If that's how you pronounce that, anyway. Now we have a whopping 250 attack points. That's insane. But uh, I'll tell you right now, that's specifically to Tiger Man only. Or Lion Man, if you're playing the new version. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and head to this dungeon now. We're ready. 
We have two potions. But I still recommend you be extremely careful in here just to not get hit. The, um, the enemies you have to worry about the most are, are in the uh, dungeon itself. But anything blue is like really kind of a big problem. <laughs> These bats, you kind of just have to inch up to them and let them swoop down and then kill them. Like that. Did I equip the Muramasa? Yeah. Don't think that's the right way. Kill that ghost, but you want to stay down here again. Kind of be quick with jumping through that. You don't want to fall in that lava. And equipping the dragon mail is not even worth it there. And you're going to come up with a, to a couple more of those, by the way. Yeah, just try not to get hit by their fireballs. Oh, now you give me a potion, or a medicine. So we got three medicines now. Oh, it's It just baffles me how some fireballs hit you for like over almost two hearts, and then some of them just barely touch you, just like that one. Oh, come on! Yeah, these guys are pretty much a pain. Um, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to come back, because I want to make sure I'm full health before I go into this dungeon. Um, the way to do that is this blue guy here, just don't get hit by him. He refills your heart or health all the way up. So, Don't swing at these guys until you can get close enough. Make sure you block their fireballs and not get hit by them. Make this big leap of faith here and watch this guy. Don't let him hit you. And by the time you're here, you're kind of in the clear. Except for these stupid ninjas. And then, then later on inside the dungeon, um, you'll encounter these ninjas again. But they're bl the ones that are blue are horrible. So uh, keep that in mind. Block, block their, um, their ninja stars with your shield and then let them jump and then attack them. It's kind of hard with these crystal balls in the way or whatever. Ugh. Or when there's two of them. And some of them sit on the wall at a weird angle to where you can't block their ninja stars. It's so annoying. And these guys, you gotta get real close to these guys too, or because they jump back. And if you're not close enough, they'll just jump back and shoot fireballs at you. Especially these green ones, they're pain because you gotta hit them twice. 
same with these bats. Just kind of take your time. All I can say with this dungeon is take your time. This is what I meant by them sitting on the walls. There's another one coming up, too. What? I just... What? I got a rare drop, folks. I got a rare drop. I've never seen this sword before. At any time have I ever played this game, have I ever gotten this drop. But obviously the Muramasa Blade is the uh, better choice, but wow, I've never gotten that drop before. That's a rare drop. I was like, why did I see a sword icon? And I was like, oh shit, what did it drop? Because, you know, that never happens. <laughs> So there are some rare drops. Sometimes you can get the dragon mail that way. I've gotten the dragon mail that way before and didn't have to pay for it. But I've never seen the Tasmanian sword ever. There's no shops you can buy from, nothing. So that's rare. I don't know if it might be good for the next character we're getting, but we'll see. Now watch these blue ninjas, that's all I can say. Do not let them hit you. Or those guys. Oh come on, you're kidding me, man. hate those guys. Alright, now we're at the boss. This guy hit him immediately. Uh, what sucks about him is you gotta hit him. Uh, man, there's nothing you can do about jumping over him or anything. So you'll get hit. That's why I had to get the potions. Because there's nothing you can do. But he only takes a few hits to uh, kill. Oh, come on. See, that's why I got the potion right there. But see how it only refilled one heart? I don't get why some of the medicines only refill one heart and some of them... Oh, man, I wanted to get more gold than that. But now I'm Hawkman. And you want to, first thing you want to do with Hawkman is fly all the way up here. Oh, don't do that, though. Just fly in the door. get some money, and a good amount of it this time. Which you're gonna need, because there's some expensive armor coming up. Let's go in here. And that's the expensive armor I was telling, telling you about. I think I've gotten a rare drop of the Hades armor, too. Um, before. Wow, your charisma points go way down with that. And your defense point. Oh, no. No, defense points go up. So, make a note of the... Um, make a note of the charisma points if you need to go to a shop on that. Now, you see the Master Shield does nothing for Hawkman, but the Knight Shield does. So, it's a good idea that we got the Knight Shield. Um... Yeah, it was just in shields, right? So, Prince Armor, Hades Armor. Obviously, the Hades Armor is more, but the Charisma points are way less. Um, let's look at the Tasmanian Sword. I'm curious. Yes. Tasmanian Sword is good for Hawkman, but I believe we have a better sword coming up later anyway for him. So, we don't have to worry about that, but we'll keep it equipped for now.
All right, so that does it for the Tiger Man dungeon. I'm going to go ahead and give you a password here. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and save it. Alright, well I'd like to thank you again for watching the Video Game Addict. Don't forget to subscribe and subscribe to Double A Danger as well. And I also want to recommend that you go to thedragonstrap.com to check out the remake of this game. And here is the trailer for that game.